I'm going to derive the Hicksian or compensated demand curves from a Cobb-Douglas utility function. Here is our Cobb-Douglas utility function. We've got good x and good y. Here is our consumer's income, m. Price of good x times good x plus price of good y times y. So that's the budget constraint. And we're going to set up the Lagrangian here where we're going to minimize expenditures subject to the constraint. So the utility function will be our constraint here. And the first thing we'll do is get the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to good x. Doing that, we get this result right here, setting that equal to 0. We take the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to good y, and we get this result right here. And we take the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to lambda, and we just get back our constraint. So step one is to solve equation one for lambda. So just moving th some things around here. Dividing through by 0.5 and solving for lambda. We're going to take equation 2 and we're going to take equation 2 and solve that for lambda. Doing that, we get this result. Moving on to the next slide, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just take these two lambda expressions and set them equal to one another. So lambda and lambda, we're going to set lambda equal to lambda, and we're going to simplify this. Okay, I guess the first thing I did here was I divided everything through by 2, so the 2's cancel, and then cross multiplying the x and y terms, we get this result and solving this result for x and then solving it for y we get the following price of good y divided by the price of good x here and then price of good x divided by the price of good y here so we're going to plug equation four into the constraint or equation three to get the compensated demand curve for good y so here's our constraint and for x, I'm just plugging in price of good y divided by price, price of good x times y. And since x is raised to the 0 0.5, all of this is raised to the 0 0.5. Solving for y, y to the 0.5 times y to the 0.5 is y. So our, uncomp so our sorry, compensated demand for good y is the following. And this compensated demand curve, this gives the relationship between the quantity purchased of good Y and the price of good Y, holding utility in the price of good X constant. A change in the price of good Y only gives a substitution effect of the price change because utility or real income is being held constant. All right, let's get the compensated demand for good X. So taking equation 5 and plugging it into the constraint, for a fixed amount of utility. So we've got a fixed amount of utility here. Plugging 5 into this equation, we get this. Simplifying x to the 0.5 times x to the 0.5 is x. And here is our compensated demand curve for good x. And same interpretation. This gives a relationship between the quantity purchased of good x and the price of good x, holding utility and the price of good y constant. A uh, change in the price of good x only gives the substitution effect of the price change. Utility is being held constant. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.